synthetic substitution, and synthetic division. Let's evaluate f of 2 if f of x equals 4x squared minus 3x minus 11. Traditionally, you would write parentheses around the variable and then rewrite that equation with 2 replaced for the variable. Now just evaluate each term and simplify. We get negative 1. So f of 2 equals negative 1. If we were to graph f of x, we would see that the function f of x has a point 2, negative 1. All right, it's in the fourth quadrant. Now let's look at something new called synthetic substitution. With synthetic substitution, you have to make sure that the equation is in standard form. The constant is really negative 11 x to the 0 power. And we write the coefficient of each term. So we have 4, negative 3, negative 11. And there are a few ways to do this. I'll show you the first way. What we substitute, we put on the outside. And I highly recommend the first term always gets brought down. So draw the arrow on your notebook because it will keep you from making a mistake here all right now we're going to take that four and we're going to multiply it by the number we're substituting so four times two is eight so we write in the eight now we combine negative three plus eight is five and then we just repeat this again and again until we get to the end five times two gives us ten write in the ten Negative 11 plus 10 is negative 1. So box that off. And that negative 1 is your answer. So again, f of 2 equals negative 1. All right, now let's evaluate g of 3 if g of x equals x to the third minus 7x plus 2. I'm going to do synthetic substitution. Write my coefficients. Okay, there's a 3. Very important to do the arrow. All right, 1 times 3. That gives us 3. Add them together, that's negative 4. And negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Add those, we get negative 10. So according to work that I just did, g of 3 is negative 10. I'm going to check it by doing the traditional substitution as well. So write the parentheses. Substitute, all right, 3 to the third power, 3 times 3 times 3, talking about this part right here, is 27 minus 21 plus 2. 27 minus 21 is 6 plus 2 is 8, so g of 3 equals 8. So if you notice here, I'm getting conflicting answers. Which was the correct one? Well, if I graph g of x, I get this curve. And as you can see here, the point 0.38 is right there. So the traditional substitution is correct, which tells me that what I did with synthetic was the wrong synthetic substitution. And the reason it's wrong is something we're going to show you right now. All right, the correct synthetic substitution, you have to make sure you use zeros for any gaps with missing x terms. So notice there was no x squared term. So I'm going to put a placeholder there, zero, and go ahead and try to use synthetic again. Bring down the one. One times three is three. Add them together. 3 times 3 is 9. Add those numbers together. And 3 times 2 is 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. And there's the number we wanted. So g of 3 is 8. I know that is correct. So to summarize, make sure if there are any terms that are missing, use 0 as a placeholder. Let's divide x cubed minus 7x plus 2 
all divided by x minus 3. All right, first, a few notes. Synthetic division can be used to divide any polynomial, f of x, by divisor x minus k. Very key, x has to be by itself. Has to be to the power of 1, coefficient has to be 1. To divide, you substitute k into f of x by using synthetic substitution. So look over here, you have same substitution as before, and the numbers we get on the bottom are going to mean something in this case. You'll see when we get there. Uh, one other thing I want you to recall, when you used to divide 29 by 4, for example, 4 goes into 29 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28, and we have a remainder of 1. Later, as you were learning this, you started writing it as 7 and 1 fourth. Here's a general rule of what we're about to do. So when we divide, we get a quotient, and then we put the remainder as the numerator and the uh, divisor as the denominator. So we did something very similar before. All right, make sure you have the placeholder. So 1, 0, negative 7, 2. And now we just have to determine what is the k value. Well, x minus 3 is what we're dividing by. So k is 3. It's always the opposite of what's after x. And I'm just using a little bit of a different uh, visual synthetic substitution here. But it's all the same thing. Put the arrow down. 3 times 1 is 3. Add 0 plus 3, that's 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Add those. And 3 times 2 is 6. If it sounds familiar, it's because we just did it. Except in this problem, the 1, 3, and 2, these numbers down here, are the coefficients of the quotient. So it's 1x squared plus 3x plus 2. The last number is always the constant. The 8 is the remainder. So how do we write that? Well, here's the answer. x squared plus 3x plus 2 plus 8 over x minus 3. That's the final answer. All right, let's do another one a little bit more complicated. There it is. So I'm going to jump right into it. Write the coefficients of the numerator, 315, negative 7, 35. And what are we going to use for k? If you said negative 5, you would be correct. So put an arrow down by the 3. And we go ahead, negative 5 times 3, negative 15. Add those, we get 0. Negative 5 times 0 is 0. Negative 7. And negative 5 times negative 7 gives us positive 35. And we get 0 at the end. That's okay. 0 could be a remainder. So what we get is 3x squared plus 0x minus 7 plus 0 divided by the binomial x plus 5. That is what the quotient of that expression is. Uh, we can simplify a little. So it's 3x squared minus 7. That's the final answer. A couple of things we should do. First, we could check by multiplying the quotient by the divisor. So just a reminder, if you have 40 divided by 8 equals 5, you could check that by multiplying 5 times 8 is 40. You know you're doing, doing it right. So likewise, you multiply 3x squared minus 7 with x plus 5. Go ahead and distribute this. And I get the numerator. That was the dividend. So that is correct. And also, since we had a remainder of 0, that means that x plus 5 goes into the numerator evenly. So because of that, x plus 5 is a factor, and also negative 5 is a root 
of f of x equals 3x cubed plus 15x squared minus 7x minus 35. Thank you.